Hi friends, my name is Anuradha and I welcome you to the fourth part of our Locust learning series and what we have done so far, we have set up Locust on Windows, we have created a development environment to create our Locust scripts and in the last part, we learned and we created a first script on Locust. But you know what, that script was not usable at all, pardon me for that. Why? Because Locust is meant to attack systems for the purpose of performance testing, right? And in our last script, we didn't use any system at all, correct? And in this part, what we'll be doing, we have identified a web page, which is a demo site from Mercury Tours. And so what we will be learning as part of this lecture is, uh, we will be knowing and diving deep into class called HTTP Locus class. We'll know what is the Locus way to provide, to help us to create a request http request and, and then we'll be creating a very small script to send get request to the page so let's move so i am on pycharm project which we created in second part of our locus learning series and also within this project we created directory and our first script on locust in the third part of the series i hope you have been through that part now what we are here to do is to create our second script where we will be making a request to http page with the help of uh, uh, with the help of our script and let's see what else we need apart from the things which we required in our first script on locust and just let's cr quickly create one file python file and let's name it as locust underscore http get so if you have been through the third part of the series where we created our first script, I hope you have the idea where to begin this script. And what I'll be doing, I'll be creating two classes over here in this script. Class, user, behavior and class, user, right? You remember? And what we have to do, we have to definitely inherit this from task set and for that we need to import from locust module task set and also we will import task decorator method now what we have to do here uh, so uh, of course we have to inherit locust class over here but we are here to make specifically HTTP request and for that purpose, Locust provides us class named HTTP Locust and for how it differs from its parent class Locust. Let's see and let's go to core.py which is from Locust module and if I search for HTTP Locust, okay. So as you can see, HTTP Locust is again a child class of Locust. So Definitely, it can use all the attributes and properties, whichever there is in Locust. And what extra it is providing? Okay, it is creating a uh, something, uh, one attribute, which is called client. Now, what is this client, and and uh, uh, what difference it makes to HTTP Locust? And if we go further below, we will see that client is instantiating HTTP session class, right? Now, what is this HTTP session class? Let's go to uh, one more Python class from Locust module, which is client.py. And if I go to this class, HTTP session class, which is there in client.py, I will see that this class is the one which is inheriting request.session from Python library itself. So do not worry if you are not sure what this request module of Python does and what it holds. The, just uh, be aware that is it does a very powerful module and it can make all kinds of HTTP requests, whether it is get, post, put, get, delete, and you can send different headers and form data using this. And uh, uh, session object is uh, also helping to maintain a user session, uh, 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 which is very much needed in during performance testing. And this is done with the help of certain parameters like cookies. All right, so we will uh, gradually come to know more about 
to the methods as we do our different script for now just have understanding that is this http session class which locust is having is inheriting a request dot session class from python itself and so it is very powerful and this http locust class which is having this extra client attribute it is basically instance of http session class which we will be using here in this http locus so eventually what we need to import over here is http locust class okay now let's add more elements to our script so that we can send get requests to our uh, page new tools demo or dot com so what we have to do we have to define task set over here task set should point to user behavior and we can also set min weight and max weight over here let them be 5000 millisecond and max weight 15000 millisecond all right and let's go to user behavior and add task over here with the help of task decorator and let's define a method called launch underscore url in this method we will pass instance of our task set class self dot client then we will access client attribute and then we will pass we'll send cat request and what will be here is it this new tools demo or dot com no we will be having here only url part which is appended to the main host address so say our host over here is new tools dot demo or dot com and we just need to access this site right so we'll just add to our get argument only this slash part and this is what is facilitated with the help of locust because when we use python request library directly itself all you have to give is complete url but here you have to give only the appended part which is appended to this host and this host itself is an attribute of user class which is http locus class or locus class and we can define host attribute either here like this and we can just give the host value over here okay like this so the uh, and then we can run our test or we have another way let's run this test and then we will see the other way to uh, specify or pass host attribute okay so let's run this script and see and to run the script we need to be in the folder where our locus script is there and then we can specify the name of the script and then we can run test let me go to monitor let me run the test over here let me go back to my terminal test has started and if i again go back to terminal i will see that request statistics has started coming right let's go back to terminal let's go back to terminal other way to let's see the other way to pass host name uh, so let's just run our script in the, uh, and so let's just give the command again but this time what we have to give additionally is this host host parameter okay all good all set now if you have been listening to me very carefully can i ask you a question i pass this client attribute appended with the instance of user behavior right while i mentioned that client is attribute which resides in http locus class so how come i am able to access this client attribute using the inst uh, user behavior uh, instance itself right so the answer to this is that if we go to go.py and we see task set dot class we will see there's a property in the task set class itself which is client and it returns self dot locus dot client so when so, so this is again a way locus is providing the convenience mechanism and we always don't have to specify the complete part we will just specify self dot client which is actually the property of task set class and is returning locus dot client which is an attribute of user right 
HTTP locust and then we are performing our request. Friends, I hope you gained learning out of this lecture and you enjoyed it too. And if you really like this lecture, do mark it as like over here. And to stay tuned, do subscribe to our YouTube channel QA Milestone Academy. And do not forget to visit our site qamilestone.com for we have a lot of wonderful posts over there waiting for you.